since 2012, the first thing that happened, AI took off, and it led to the first wave, which is really described as, if I could, perception. We we solved perception. It became superhuman.、Mm-hmm. Computer vision became superhuman. Language understanding or speech recognition became superhuman. The second the second phase is、uh, generative.、Uh, we can now not only understand information, but we can translate and generate information.、Right? So text to text, text to images, images to text, text to video. Text to video. Yeah. Yeah.、Right. The third third wave is the wave that we're in today. You know, really deeply, solidly into, which is、uh, reasoning AI、mm-hmm. um, to、uh, break down the problem into multiple steps. Reason about how to solve the problem, the larger goal, step by step. It might even do some research, read some documents, read an archive paper before it answers the question.、Okay. And so, the third wave that we're in today, which is reasoning, is a very big part of seeing the acceleration of AI becoming AI. That's this, the fact that we're, we're doing reasoning AI is the reason why why、um, uh, people are starting to say, you know, we're near、uh, general intelligence.、Okay. And then the third, the, the next wave after the th- after uh, uh, after uh, reasoning AI is physical. AI. This is where AI knows how to now interact with the physical world, has physical world common sense, like.、Um, Object permanence, friction, inertia. As a result of that, the, the collection of all these capabilities, we should be able to see, you know, the next wave, which is probably robotics.